Hello, this is Scott Idle with Teledyne RDI Field Service. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm thrilled to demonstrate to you how to initialize VMDAS in a real-time Sentinel V80 CP for deployment using Ethernet communication protocol. I installed current versions of VMDAS and Sentinel VRT utilities. Before continuing, ensure that you have installed these software as well. I've connected my SV80 CP to my LAN using a CAT5 cable. I've connected my PC to my LAN using a CAT5 cable. I go ahead and apply power. I'll now use TRDI Sentinel V Utilities software application to establish my Ethernet connection. Let me just go ahead and close that, close it out and restart it. My host name is SV17470. I'll use port 9000 and TCP. We'll go ahead and connect. And you'll notice that we've switched our display and the little green box here is now lit indicating that we have a decent connection. This user interface has a variety of useful panels. The top left shows the system info and includes a link for upgrading your firmware, if necessary, that is. The Features panel shows the available feature options. If an option is checked, it is active. We will broadcast on port 10,000, port 10,000 right there. Um, the, compass is, the compass calibration will be uh, shown in a different video. This one has been calibrated. If you're using your SV80CP's internal compass for your deployment data, be sure to calibrate your compass. I'll go ahead and zero the pressure sensor, run the system tests. I'm going to set my time to my local PC time, restore the defaults, and start the setup of real-time data application. Sentinel VRT Utilities now displays the deployment panels or deployment planning wizards user interface. I select moving TRDI software right there and ocean near shore and click next. I evaluate my water profile parameters. I like what I see and I go next. There'll be no battery packs. We'll do an ensemble every two seconds. And we have a one day deployment. And that's mainly just for uh, power planning, recording planning. Okay. So the planning software displays my setup. I can further design further define my deployment by going here and setting other pieces of information. We're definitely using Ethernet, no battery packs. I can also look at my commands and if I'd like to say turn off bottom tracking I could put a BP0 command over here in my custom commands. I can't change these commands. They're in they're embedded. So that's what we do instead. We rewrite the command with a different parameter. For example, if I wanted to turn bottom tracking off, I could do a PP, BP0 here. Clearly, in a moving uh, deployment, we don't usually turn bottom tracking off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to deploy. And I want to use VMDAS. Now, 
Sentinel V Real Time Utilities is going to turn over the job to VMDAS now and hopefully set up VMDAS for Ethernet comms. So it's done it. And now it is sampling. Um, this is the go button, this is the stop button. As you can see, the ensemble numbers are changing and the data is changing. Um, obviously, this is not good data, it's on the bench. Uh, but this, for the purposes of this instructional video, this is just what we need. And we want to show that we can get VMDAS up and running. Okay, that's the end of the video for now. And thank you for listening. And good luck with your deployment.